So we're making a bot that will play this ECG game. So it's showing you an abnormality score, which uh, later, yes, we can uh, turn into an actual response of it making a decision. This had an abnormality of 0.9. This wasn't 0.56. Uh, this is wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we changed, changed something last time. Uh, the abnormality for normal ECG, not like this, but with another waveform there, should be 0.1. Okay, yeah, this is great, but can I first share the entire code with you and then you make your comments and things on the whole thing? There is, except this HTML, there is an additional two JavaScript files and another Python uh, backend uh, Flask application. Click mechanics, clicking on waveforms. It's like whack a mole, but for future cardiologists. Score calculation, score goes up and down more than my mood on a Monday morning. Okay, you might uh, wanna turn the funny a uh, few notches down. <laughs> Maybe keep it to one uh, joke at a time. Yeah, I forgot about the colors. Uh, originally the waveform was uh, changing color if you were making a wrong um, decision, but I don't think we do that anymore. It's okay to leave it as is for now. Here is the backend Flask application. It's like finding Waldo, but in waveforms. Fuzzy logic for analysis. Using fuzzy logic for data analysis is like having a wise sage making decisions, not always black and white, but often right. Okay, I just realized that it's actually working correctly. Um, it's just that the yeah, there is a learning, the learning element of it is that the thresholds, so say the amplitude thresholds change over time as new uh, waveforms come in. So I just realized I was wrong before the abnormality score is actually working correctly. It uh, is showing 0 0.1 for a normal ECG. It just seems like it needs some time for the thresholds to uh, stabilize, to work correctly. Could you explain that bit? And also there seem to be a problem that sometimes the normalized amplitude output is not showing a value. So even after the algorithm was running for a while and it got all the possible waveform types, I'm getting this output. Why is the normalized the amplitude is not being calculated in this case. Uh, well, it's a given that the maximum value of 349 returns a normalized amplitude of 1, but then for the lowest amplitude waveform with a raw amplitude of 199, I get no output for the normalization function would it help to not have the global mean amp and the global max amp variables to be plus and minus infinity? It will definitely work better than what we currently have. We get 0 0.6, 0 0.5 for 288 a1 for 349 which is the maximum amplitude that we have we still get nothing for 199 uh, do we get any errors uh, no errors i wonder if it meant to improve over time so I still get the uh, no value for 199. I mean, I'm happy to assume that the minimum 
amplitude is zero, shall we do that? Can you explain how is it different from what we are currently doing? New method. This is like always starting from the floor and seeing how high you can jump, ignoring how low you can go. We're just using the maximum value for normalization and assuming the minimum is zero. A bit like measuring how high you can stack pancakes without worrying about how thin they can get. And okay, now you made me hungry. Um, okay, this is uh, not cool. Don't use any emojis. Keep responses short. Can you rewrite the normalize function? Look at the original code. It should have three inputs. And what did you recommend? Every time you mention something like not to do, it then picks up on that word. It's uh, as if it's surely you understand the context of not doing something, as in do not use emojis. So in our current data set, we don't have the edge uh, cases. We probably should add them. Let's see if it made anything better. Okay, now we get a value for 199, just 0 0.57, 0 0.57. Okay, so this is better. Okay, this is abnormal. That's the highly, a uh, highly abnormal of 0 0.9, 0 0.5. Yes, so this bit. So I'm just trying to make sure this makes sense. Otherwise, we have to change it. Yeah, for some unknown like reason, uh, for like an unknown uh, period of time, I guess until it got all the possible waveforms. For a normal ECG, we get a 0 0.56, a 0.56 abnormality value, which is a uh, not right. I think later it's correcting itself to show point one so for normal a uh, waveform not like this yeah that point five six values seem to be like some sort of default mean frequency could also be zero yeah this point five six four two four should not be shown for normal acg right so not showing point one which is what we want. So there is like a learning thing happening, but this learning thing is, is uh, fake. It's just, uh, it's a simple, there's no actual like machine learning there or anything. It's just adjusting the, those uh, thresholds because they are none to begin with. I'm just thinking. So for some time in the beginning, we get this result for a normal ECG, whereas later the score of abnormality for normal ECG goes down to 0 0.1 as expected. Considering this is not a real uh, machine learning, can we adjust the initial global minimum and maximum variables I'm happy for all the minimums to be zero and all the maximum to say be 1000. Should that fix this uh, problem? Okay, later when we add more waveform types of uh, different uh, abnormalities and different variations, would be interesting to see if the fuzzy logic is still working correctly or not probably not yeah we currently have uh, 356 lines of codes code including spaces uh, including empty lines carriage returns whatever they're called the, are we currently using the abnormality uh, membership function what membership functions are we using currently isn't the abnormality a uh, membership function an input or output also how would you recommend using it ideally it will make the decision currently your system uses membership functions for four input variables frequency amplitude positive peaks and negative peaks could you actually make a suggestion as to how we can use them 
I'm thinking in the game logic JavaScript on the front end in the same way we're doing a score calculation for the human clicking on the waveform can we make a calculation of how well the fuzzy logic algorithm is playing the game and calculate its uh, score in a similar way and display it on the front end on the right side so we turn it into a competition okay can you look at the code we have so far and make the necessary adjustments if you prefer you can generate the prompts for github copilot to change the code it might need help integrating this thing how do we do this the idea just to be clear is um, in addition to the current game score just the human score have a score by an ai the machine learning bit that will be well the obvious placement is the right side if the human score is on the left so in javascript change so in javascript we have score they both start uh, the same <laughs> i mean later we can give a human an advantage of uh, whatever thousand points <laughs> in this game yeah human has no chance the speed as well is important uh, because the machine obviously can do it uh, it just it is getting the raw data that uh, the human is seeing on the screen so the score should be calculated in the same way okay so i added the initialization for the fuzzy logic system score can you look at the specific code that we have so far and give more specific responses i need help uh, integrating the changes you suggested into the code or shall i get the github copilot to do it I did upload the code before. I don't know why I'm saying you don't have access to it. Here is the game logic again. Now, shall we plot the fuzzy logic, the machine uh, learning a score in exactly the same way as the human one, just on the other side of the page? Also, are you gonna be using the fuzzy membership function to make a yes no decision equivalent to the human clicking on the waveform where is that thing being drawn um it's a control shift c ah it's being drawn on top of the canvas right it's actually happening in javascript it's not the html bit so this will be the human score right and on the other side of the screen we should have a machine score yeah where are we doing the actual uh, scoring business it's different we want it to be identical yeah, there is a limit of the score not to drop below minus 50 then incorrect rejection and leases it will do the fuzzy the bot scores separately as in in the code but then it has to we have to make sure hey, we're doing hey, everything exactly in the same fashion i mean that the points it's getting are exactly the same so the threshold yeah we split because it's a score the abnormality score is between zero and one we just uh, split the threshold into 0.5 well the other way to look at it is we ever have normal or abnormal so we could have um, anything no no <laughs> okay so this is the big thing 
Okay, one big important thing is that I don't know, okay, the, I misunderstood. So the front end actually generating the waveform, so it knows what the result is. So essentially the JavaScript is the judge. Is that uh, correct? Does that make sense? We need to decide to decide what the threshold is. So essentially in our case, uh, normal BCG is 0 0.1 and anything else so anything above 0 0.1 is uh, should be considered abnormal ecg um, how do we do that so when we receive the data we display analysis result that's the human uh, analysis so this will be display human analysis result now I would like the same function, but uh, for the fuzzy logic algorithm. So for the machine, I don't understand why the display fuzzy analysis result need two inputs. To save, it's also receiving data. This is wrong. This is wrong. Go back. Go back. Made a mistake. We received data. We're updating. The fuzzy score displaying analysis result. Okay, shouldn't this return something? Yeah, the machine seems to uh, make some mistakes to begin with because for normal, it's still giving 0 0.36, but it's doing better later. Yeah, the fuzzy logic score should be using the abnormality score taken from the fuzzy logic algorithm and displaying a score for the machine. Okay, how do we display the score on the canvas in the same way as the score for clicks is being displayed? Okay, so the first one is the human score. The second one is the machine score. Okay, now I'm playing against the machine. Obviously, it's much faster. Already lagging behind. Okay, it's 50-50. Oh, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning the machine for now. It's abnormal. I'm way ahead. Should I 110? This is normal. I do not click on. Okay, I'm winning quite a bit, assuming I'm a human, I'm doing much better as opposed to the algorithm. Okay, now it's becoming faster, it's normal, almost double the score. The machine is stuck at 100 and I'm almost at 300. Okay, the machine score is going down, 350, 370. 390 like winning by far okay that's normal abnormal 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 yeah i'm winning the robot normal abnormal okay now it's becoming harder like because it's super quick normal normal abnormal normal abnormal oops machine's stuck at 200 okay i don't even have enough oops time to click on it oops i was clicking on the normal eg i'm still at 800 820 830 oops missed it that is crazy fast now yeah i reached the 1000 oops oops clicked on the normal i didn't doing 1300 now, obviously, one advantage for the machine is that it can go forever. And it's picking up score as well. Oops, and I'm making mistakes. Well, because I'm out of focus already. And I should know this data set. Well, because I created it. Oops. Just way too fast. I think I actually beat my own score. Oops, clicked on normal. 
Yes, you can see my breakdown of uh, all the mistakes and things I'm making. Bunch of normals. Okay, I'm getting all tired. My eyes hurt. The bot is picking up score. It's making mistakes as well. So what if the human just can't handle it anymore? It is something actually wrong with the bot. There are no point ones. Should be point ones for normal. There should be point ones for normal uh, waveform. Yeah, there are no point ones, which is odd. And okay, now the bot is winning, but then, yeah, the bot is getting it incorrect every time. There is a normal, well, because the number is not going down as much as it should. Uh, let's start again. So now it will go 30, subnormal, it will go 30, uh, 40, sorry. Now, question is, for normal EG, CG is getting 0.3. Pretty sure it was getting 0.1 before. Now, the question is, is it getting better with time? I don't know. That point three is not correct. Yeah, point three six. Yeah, I don't know why it's it's uh, point three six. Yeah, if I if I if I make this value point three six instead of point one, what's the exact number? Like point six, point three six one or something. Yeah, there's a magic number. It's abnormal. You can do the same. Yeah, so if I tune this thing, yeah, it won't be making any mistakes anymore. That was a quick tune. And I think the human is Dansky. Because once it becomes faster, yeah, the machine is not making mistakes anymore. Just by adjusting the abnormality score threshold, I can try, but I won't be able to beat it. It's okay, my score is a bit delayed, uh, but it's uh, still the same. Did I really make a mistake? No. Yeah, once I start making mistakes, once this uh, reds go, counters go up, I'm done. Humanity, <laughs> zero. <laughs> uh, robots, one. Well, haven't happened yet, but it's very obvious. Yeah, because every 50 points it starts going faster for me. The bot making uh, much quicker decisions. And once I make the first mistake, I won't be able to recover. Because the bot is not making any mistakes with the current setup. Let's focus. Because we'll need a lot of focus. <laughs> okay, now it's becoming significantly faster for me. The bot is getting the same information. Just getting the wave oh, okay. oh yeah, it's getting the waveform. Yeah, I made one uh, miss. But it's making decisions much faster. It can go forever. And it doesn't make any mistakes. That was tricky. It was a bunch of normals. And then the slightly abnormal one. Oops, false alarm. Okay. Ah, crap. Okay, now it's just way too quick for... For me even to click on it yeah the bot is winning doesn't make any mistakes yeah i needed to slow down before i can start uh, again as in before i can even see the waveforms because the bot just getting them in raw form it's looking at the features a uh, frequency positive peaks negative peaks and amplitude it's extracting the features by itself and normalizing all the values between 0 and 1 using a fuzzy logic algorithm to make a, to generate an abnormality score and then we just set the threshold to this uh, 0.365 and uh, that's it humans <laughs> go out the door in terms of reviewing ECG or if we still review ECG we'll need a lot of luck
or at least we won't be able to do it this fast we can do it slowly but uh, yeah so the bot currently has double double the score already because it's not making any false alarms and misses and i already made quite a lot well yeah so i can have my food now just watch the bot uh, doing its job <laughs> just sit back and relax i think it's pretty obvious for this round uh, who won well first because i just gave up now it's uh, slow again so i can start uh, labeling but uh, the, <laughs> the robot uh, doesn't make any mistakes it kept going so it doesn't get tired and it's already reached a, a score of 7000 which is uh, several folds uh, higher than uh, what i could do so even if i start labeling again i made all these mistakes uh, uh, four false alarms and uh, 332 misses whereas the fuzzy score the machine the robot uh, only did hits and correct rejections let's uh, so let's start a fresh the fuzzy counters draw waveform a draw score okay so this bit let's make it 40 they will overlap and that one let's make it say 100,000 oops have to save make it it's outside the canvas should we make it easier for the human to make uh, the canvas uh, larger yeah so i'm not sure how it works on different screens make it 500 just so it fits the screen then this heat should be a bit the same blue field text heat correct rejection false alarm misses can the bot do this kind of stuff for me or should I do it manually? 80, 100, 20, 200, this one, 160. Right. All these numbers should be 500. And yes, we could. Yeah, I have no idea how, how it will be displayed on a mobile, actually. So that's how it will look like on my screen it doesn't look too bad on mobile at least on my mobile so yeah, yeah it makes sense for it to only go uh, high uh, to go faster when the human is doing better i mean for the fuzzy logic algorithm it doesn't make any difference whatsoever it doesn't make any mistakes with the current setup generally with don't like uh, magic numbers so ideally this would be automated yeah so essentially this could show you how how machines are better at these specific tasks at uh, annotating uh, time a uh, series uh, waveforms if you are a human and you are engaged at the, the task it will then become uh, faster and faster the bot will just keep doing its thing it doesn't mind it's making the decision essentially immediately so it doesn't mind how fast or quick the scrolling is on the screen it gets the same waveform as you are so it doesn't know that the algorithm this score here the abnormality uh, this prediction is being made by the backend that doesn't have access to the waveform a generation business and yes we can make it harder for the bot by introducing more types of waveforms so if you have any suggestions as to what did i forget what type of uh, abnormal ecg i should include do let me know definitely the machine is winning by miles as opposed to human assuming i'm human you should not make this assumption because I can talk like this as well. Yeah, let's go back a couple prompts. 
Okay, so it's working. A uh, working okay now. I still get this for normal ECG, normal activity from your system. <laughs> so the rule might be too sensitive or not accurately reflecting the nuances of a normal ECG. Okay, we did go over the rules several times. I thought they were working well. Yes, yeah, so we need to find a threshold for classifying normal versus abnormal ECG. Now we actually manually look at the number and we set the, the threshold as a magic number in the code. But we don't want to do this. Uh, this is the updated uh, game logic and I'll be sharing the Flask Python script in the next prompt. You've updated the game logic to include scoring for both the human player and the fuzzy logic system. The setup for handling scores, hits, misses, and other counters for both players looks well structured. You've also included a threshold for the fuzzy logic system to determine abnormal waveforms, which is key for making the comparison fair and interesting. What do you think about um, actually using the membership functions from the backend, from Python code, to actually return a decision, yes, no, normal, abnormal, uh, in addition to the abnormality score? Would it make more sense to do it in the back end instead of the front end? Why not use the abnormality membership function? Isn't that what it's there for? Yes, we have uh, the abnormality membership function. The membership functions are unlikely possible, likely. All we need to decide for the yes and no is uh, what do we do with the possible and unlikely is essentially 0 to 0 0.3 uh, possible is 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 which is a problem because currently for the normal thing we still get 0.36 so ideally the algorithm the bot shouldn't be dealing with uh, magic numbers it should be like dealing with concepts I mean, if you have uh, three a uh, membership functions you might as well split them you know third split the uh, zero to one three ways yeah the human score if it goes uh, minus 50 then uh, it stops uh, displaying the negative value which is that's kind of well, right now it's recovered from it so that's how well i'm doing at scoring ecg waveforms as opposed to a robot yes we need to check how generalizable the robots algorithm is so essentially if we add a more different types of waveforms we want to see what happens to this performance that would be a next stage currently we're just trying to remove any unnecessary magic numbers from the code like this 0.365 is oops currently a uh, 0.365 is the perfect threshold if we make it point uh, four something 0.37 so start making mistakes or let it run for a while okay yeah, because i'm getting 0.36 for a uh, normal but uh, i think one of the abnormals has a very similar number yeah i think it's the one that's missing that negative peak no that one is getting 0.5 Right, this one came 0 0.46, 0 0.37. Yeah, so if you go 0 0.377, it will start uh, making mistakes. But it will always uh, do the one uh, waveform type incorrectly. Yeah, we expect for one of the waveforms to for it to do a miss. Yeah, for this one. And I already do, did two miss as well because I wasn't paying attention. So the bot will always miss that one uh, a waveform type. 
So yes, I did a little uh, the fuzzy rules and the membership functions should be just designed based on you know textbook uh, knowledge and not actually looking at uh, any waveforms that's in our back end okay if there's no questions in the chat they might finish up and i'll see you next time bye